In this video, I am simply just going to set this up, assemble it, and install it. As you can see there, um, I just got done unboxing it. You can see it's in various pieces. This is actually really easy to set up. The other thing too is I sped this up just a little bit, time lapse, so that you know we're, it took me about 25 minutes. Uh, one pro tip here, flip that front part around because I actually installed it backwards. It's real easy to fix. Also, another pro tip, don't screw everything in tightly all the way in the very beginning just to make sure everything is set up correctly but the only error that I make and usually I'm not great at, at installing and setting things up the only error I made was I made this backwards I flipped it around at the end and it actually worked out pretty simple but like I said um, it took 25 minutes but you could probably get it done much quicker than that <clears throat> it's real simple installation and setup uh, as you can see that little piece that comes with the uh, the box that's how you tighten everything tighten the different bolts um, really you only need I think you need like four bolts it came with five but you only need four um, four screws I should say four screws for this entire thing and they're used at that very bottom but as you can see um, it, it's relatively easy to, to, to set up um, it's kind of hard to not set this up properly I found a way to do it but um, but real simple setup you can see there uh, once you get the front and back installed, it's just a matter of putting things in and snapping them in place. Uh, you then uh, what you see on the front is what I do on the back. So in a few minutes here, you'll see that I um, that I install the, the pedals. The pedals are installed the same way front and back. The cool thing with the pedals is that they're labeled. The assembly, the instructions tell you, um, the instructions tell you that you've got to install the front, or the left with the left and the right with the right. Uh, the pedals are actually labeled so they made it relatively simple to to install but you can see there that's just the the back brace I think is what it's called um, really simple to, to set up just make sure that you've got the screws in the right place um, and and tighten but like I said pro tip don't tighten things all the way especially if you're like me and you gotta just flip something around quickly um, I think right now I am just tightening everything and I want to make sure that it was facing the right way I don't know that it matters uh, the back brace is facing the right way I don't know that it matters but I just uh, took taking a second look at the at the directions just to make sure um, this that piece is actually really handy because it, it has like a, a little point that sticks out like a handle and so it makes it easier uh, to tighten it if you don't have a, like a ratchet or something like that uh, that's actually really handy it makes it makes things go much quicker So, like I said, um, I've got this speed um, time lapse. It takes about 25 minutes. It'll probably take you about 15, 20 minutes uh, once you read the, through the directions. Um, you can see I read through the directions as I go to make sure I'm not skipping any steps. And um, the next step is to put on the pedals. As you can see there, uh, at the bottom, left and left and right and right, you just basically screw them on and um, as you can see there really simple which is what I like about uh, it, this bike is is it's not over complicated it is not going to um, it, it's not one of those things that's a frustrating maddening process where you've got to install everything most of it's already set up and, and installed you just basically um, put together the finishing touches like the pedals as you can see the front and back braces and then um, the seat and the handle but um, yeah so what you see there whatever I do on the left side I also do on the right side uh, real simple real simple process <clears throat> I think after this I install the seat now the cool thing with the seat, and I didn't realize it when I first got it, is that you can actually adjust the seat forward and backwards. Um, and so that will make it usable for more people. Um, yeah, I just <laughs> testing to make sure that I put the pedals on correctly. And yep, that's the adjustable seat thing there. Uh, you actually have to loosen that knob up, which hopefully you'll see me, yep, right there. I loosen the knob up. And that actually makes more of like a secure thing there where you can loosen the knob up and then you pull it back. 
and that offers a little bit more stability and security. So you can see there, I made that change. Um, and then you install the seat on top of that. And then again, the seat comes in like two different pieces in which you can you can set up. So if we look at this, yep, there's one, that's the seat, but then there's a brace too that connects the, the adjustable height thing to the, the seat. One more little piece there that I'll be grabbing in just a second. And then I think that I actually will adjust the seat down so that you can see me installing it. And um, let's see. Yep, right there. I adjust it down just a little bit so that you can see that at the very top. And um, so there's two screws that are on the seat brace that connect to the actual seat you have to tighten those so that the seat doesn't wobble and move so right now um, that's the little slider part that's a knob again that you can tighten so that uh, you can move it back or forward depending on your height and then lock it in place and then right there um, again there's a little screw there on both sides and you've obviously you've got to tighten it so that um, so that it's not wobbling when you're riding the bike. One pro tip, lock the bottom part in place so that it's not sliding back and forth when you're trying to not, uh, when you're trying to secure the seat. Uh, another thing you could do too is you could probably secure the seat to that bracket first. I think that's actually what the instructions call for. Uh, but you can you can do that either way and you just gotta keep turning until it is uh, secure. As you can see, there's a screw on both sides. Um, gave it a little tug there. <laughs> so yep, that locks it from sliding and then you just have to do that uh, to tighten the seat in place so that it's not rocking back and forth. And it, it will feel like it's not moving at first, but you just have to keep going at it. And eventually uh, you'll, you'll start to see, feel it tightening, tightening up uh, over time. Next, I think I put on the front sliding bracket. Yep. And then uh, that bracket again is adjustable it's really hard to not assemble this correctly. And then once you connect that um, front adjustable height bracket, then you will put on the um, actual handlebars. And then with the handlebars, you connect the, the, those two wires to, the, um, to that little thing down there to track your speed and your distance. But hopefully, uh, I'll, I'll, I should move this up just a little bit so that you can see how it adjusts. There are four screws that go into that the handlebar and the adjustable bracket. And then that actually, that sensor snaps into place. <clears throat> So soon I should be making this adjustment here. So right now, um, off camera, I am connecting the that little monitor that comes with it to the actual um, cushion, or not cushion, but the handheld device. And then I'm placing that on there. Um, and then, like I said, you connect with four screws. Hopefully, very soon, I actually will. I'll adjust the camera up so that you can see this. Um, let's see. 
and then that plastic piece snaps in after you connect it, you secure it. There we go, we finally got that uh, adjusted so that you can see how that looks. And then like I said, there's just four screws there and you tighten it in. You don't, and it screws and tightens uh, without without a um, nut or, or a bolt or anything like that. You just screw it in with that Allen wrench that is supplied and you are just about done. The last thing that you have to do is uh, put that plastic piece that's sitting on the seat, put that over the that little triangle there, and then uh, include or, or connect the, the two wires to the uh, display, and you are uh, basically done for all tense, intents and purposes, which is really cool. Now again, as I mentioned, make sure that you are hand tightening everything in the beginning and so that you don't have to, um, if you make a mistake, you don't have to fight so so hard to loosen everything up. But you know, this process, this setup was relatively easy, relatively quick. Um, like I said, I this took me about 25 minutes, but it will probably take you, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. Uh, the only other area that you've got to watch out for once you get this far is making sure the two wires are connected to the right areas. Um, you can switch those out and it won't work. Um, you can test to make sure you've got them in the right way by um, turning on the, the display and then moving the pedals on the bike. And if you get um, changes, reaction, you've got, it, you've got it the right way. If you don't, you just unplug and switch. Uh, make sure that you also install the battery too or else that is going to prevent you from seeing anything on the display it comes with batteries which is cool um, but yeah that is uh, that that's basically everything that you've got to do to um, install set up this bike just make sure that that pl those plastic handles are snapped into place as you can see there um, I tested it and I think I actually had those backwards so you just make a quick change